So in Colorado, we all see the great sand dunes and we think, how the heck is that possible? There is an explanation, right, Spencer? Yeah, so I'm no geologist. I'm essentially citing, you know, the United States Geological Survey and the National Park Service. We're all amateurs here. All amateurs. Um, but essentially what happened was around 26 million years ago, a lot of shakeup starts to happen in this land down in this like San Luis Valley region. Things start to rise, things start to fall. And over millions of years, uh, there's this giant basin that's created, essentially. Flash forward, you know, to like around 700,000 years ago, and this basin starts to fill up with water, right? So there's this massive lake, often referred to as Lake Alamosa, uh, in the San Luis Valley. Eventually, that lake starts to overflow. And as it's overflowing on that southern side of the valley, it's cutting through this wall of lava rock forming what's now the Rio Grande River. And uh, eventually over time, this, this lake just drains out and what's left behind is this massive valley and all of this sediment, i.e. sand, uh, just left behind, right? Flash forward years and years and years after that to the current era and all this sand essentially keeps getting blown into that kind of that northeast side of the valley. Uh, however, once it gets blown that direction, it hits those Sangre de Cristo mountains, but it can't carry it over the mountain. Come spring, the snow melts, all that sand gets brought back down into the San Luis Valley, collecting in these dunes, right? It creates the phenomenon that makes the sand dunes so popular, you know, around springtime and early summer, Madonna Creek. That's all this, all this sand coming back down to kind of regenerate these massive dunes that we see today. It occurs to me like, uh, you know, every great artist takes their time with a painting and Mother Nature takes millions of years, you know, so thank you, Mother Nature, for a masterpiece. I, I can't say anything after that.